we introduce you Toxo Plasma Gandhi. The life cycle of Toxoplasma gandhi occurred in rats, which make rats as a carrier of the infection of this microbe. The muscle, or organ of other infected animals, such as rats, are then consumed by cats, which is the immature forms of Toxoplasma gandhi. Toxoplasma gandhi, then transmitted to human by physical contact, which can cause toxoplasmosis. Pregnant women are more immunocompromised to the infection. The prevention is divided into two, which is for the cats and for the humans. For the cats, first, keep your cats indoor. Second, do not feed your cats raw or undercooked meat. For humans, first, Always wash hands after contact with farm animals, pets, animal feces and animal environment. Second, keep food preparation areas clean. And lastly, cook and store food at appropriate temperature. Toxoplasmosis. Cats are cats play an important role as they end host, right? Because they produce the oocysts. But then we have to remember uh, the mode of transmission. It's um, there's three modes of transmission, right? From the oocysts, right? That's when uh, uh, direct through oral fecal route, and then tissue cyst, right? Tissue cyst is when uh, the other animals they eat uh, contaminated food or water. And then the parasite will become a uh, cyst in their muscles or in the brain. Mm -hmm. And then um, that's in the form of bradyzoids, right? So if you eat the meat, you'll eat the tissue cyst, mm -hmm. right? The third way is through uh, uh, vertical transmission, which is uh, from the mother to the fetus, uh, from the placenta, right? There's three forms of um, stages, which is the tachyzoid, so that's the third one. So that's why from uh, pregnant women, sometimes they can transmit to the baby, uh, that's the third stage. So sometimes people think that cat uh, is the only important route, but actually it's not. So you have to think of all the other mode of transmission. Mm -hmm. So like oral fecal route, uh, usually people get from gardening, right? Or from contaminated water, water sources. So if gardening, if you, if you use bare hands and you don't wash, whether you're adult or children is the same. And then if you ingest, then that's oral fecal root, right? So if the second one is the meat uh, through undercooked or uncooked meat, uh, sometimes uh, there are people who likes to eat raw or rare, isn't it? Medium rare, you know, you still have the blood and stuff like that. That one is high chances. Even I think, I'm not sure, but uh, even like fish, you know, like sashimi, I think our quality, we have to be a bit careful. Um, so those are the things. So I'm just saying that if you want to do toxoplasmosis in cats, uh, you have to remember cats are not the only way to get toxoplasma. They're just the end host, 
but you actually get it more from undercook, overcook, or from the environment actually. Uh, usually cats are uh, positive toxo or even other animals, they don't show signs unless um, when they're pregnant and they're immunocompromised, somehow uh, the infection can become uh, active, the tissue cysts will break and become stachyzoids and that, then you'll see some abortion. Uh, then you, you, you know, that's how you see that they are infected or else the animal actually is healthy. If there's any abortion um, in animals, uh, especially in production animals, it's very hard to diagnose. Uh, at the moment, we don't have um, uh, we have um, serology and PCR, but it's not routinely done, right? So usually, those people who have research on in that, then only they do. So for small animals, also, if I'm not mistaken, um, they have specific test kit, uh, which is not commonly practiced as well. Uh, for the OCs, it's not easy to be detected. All right? Usually in cats, they don't, uh, you, you can't catch them producing the OCs. It, you can hardly get um, a production of high OCs count. It's hard to, be, to differentiate uh, the OCs from the other coccidia. For treatment, I think sometimes in acute cases, you can, you can um, treat uh, with some uh, drugs uh, like clindamycin and uh, some sulfadizing drugs but uh, in, in some of the articles they said only during the acute cases not uh, there's no cure for toxoplasmosis I think because of the, the presence of the cysts in the tissue muscles especially because you would not know uh, unless you can catch uh, the antibody title all right but sometimes the antibody title do go down so only during active uh, stage infection, you get high antibody titer. Sometimes you don't get uh, high antibody titer if it's a latent uh, infection. So usually if you have pregnant, uh, if you're pregnant, we would advise you not to handle the litter tray. You try and get somebody else to throw the litter, all right? Uh, it's best if you can throw uh, you clean the litters every day. Don't wait for a few days. All right. So try to clean it every day, daily, and try to get somebody else. If you can, make sure you clean your hands properly uh, after you clean up. Me and Dr. Rosayan, we're in uh, large animal, so we are planning to do in small ruminants. Uh, toxoplasma is uh, one of the main cause of uh, abortion in sheep and goats. So they, it can cause abortion. So uh, I like to see what's the rate of that in Malaysia, especially.